really have two options, helicopter, drone. A uh, big part of the reason why you guys are here is because of the impact to the, uh, to the site, exclusion zone and everything else, should be substantially diminished than what we would need with a helicopter. Another tool in the toolbox for us, right? So Site C is a uh, new hydroelectric facility, so it's going to be producing power. There, uh, it's on the Peace River, and our part of this whole project is literally to get the uh, the power from the powerhouse where it's generated into uh, South Bank substation and then onto the system. So we've got three 500 kV lines, uh, 5L15, 5L16, and 5L17. Power to the people. So really we were brought in to provide uh, a low impact um, service to allow us to work in on a very complex and busy uh, construction site to minimise that sort of, I guess, risk footprint for BC Hydro and the construction partners here. And our scope was to essentially get uh, each of the five lines, so essentially 15, uh, 15 lines in total, in position to allow the, uh, the stringing crews to get their job done. All sorts of people on critical path um, that's led us to come up with some innovative ways to get some things done. Um, part of that's Infravision here with the, with the drone. I'm uh, Clint Mowbray. I'm the uh, senior manager of the aircraft operations department at BC Hydro. Uh, so my job is to uh, manage a small department that oversees all the use of uh, aviation assets at BC Hydro. That includes helicopters, uh, fixed-wing aircraft, and drones. The drone is a lot quieter um, than I expect it to be. It's very smooth and controlled. The uh, the whole process actually after you see one run of it uh, really puts you at ease that this is a really safe and efficient, effective way to do this. Copy that. Winch is moving, nice and slow. Call out when you guys need me to stop. Um, I mean, using the drone for us here today, it allowed a much smaller um, safety zone to be set aside. If we were using a helicopter, we would need to get other workers that aren't involved in the operation a lot further back from uh, what we were doing. Um, it was quiet. Um, it's running on electricity, so you know the, the environmental factors definitely uh, reduced using the drone versus uh, traditional methods. So you know, we knew we could uh, we can do upwards of uh, of five flights a day. You know, over over 8,000 uh, meters of line run out, including tools and equipment, all done within uh, three days. Yeah, no, I, everybody was pretty excited to uh, see the drone in action and see that first line in the air with the marker balls on it. You know, you think the linemen and the Infravision crew had been working together for a lot longer than they have because uh, everything went really seamless and there was good communication. You know, that, that old term, the well-oiled machine, uh, all the crews got together, everybody's talking in the morning, lots of communication. Once we had that, the initial ropes across, we started pulling conductor, but we didn't stop pulling the ropes. It's just been like a well-oiled machine, you know? All the gears have just meshed together and everything's just, been flowing amazing and it just it's just so cool to be part of something this size yeah i never thought it would work with robots so to speak so uh yeah no it's been pretty pretty rad to be honest tier one i mean the guys were amazing we did exactly what we say we can do we came in integrate perfectly with the crew executed and moved the needle and that's exactly what we're here to do is set the precipice and do things that haven't been done an amazing opportunity both to do something that's going to benefit millions of people, which a lot of people really can't say with their day-to-day -day job, and then also to learn an immense amount. You know, being on the end, being on that edge of the envelope as far as what we do, 
to be able to learn and grow the usage of drones to do actual work is, is an excellent opportunity. Yeah, it was fun just, just seeing different ways of doing things and it's kind of what our trade's about. There's so many different ways to do things and more tools in the toolbox for us to get her done. You know, when this all gets energized, like, hey, we did it. We were part of that, right? So yeah, I just, I can't say enough about uh, the guys and um, the whole experience. We've met our goals. We needed to get rope across the approach channel. We've filled the sky with rope. Every, every conductor that we need to pull, we're now ready to pull. We've got a bunch of it in already. And yeah, it's just a success story and it feels good to have it moving along. So, you know, we can see the, uh, we can see the end in sight. So being able to get out there and actually put runs on the board is really what we're about. Take another 30, rigging is clear straight up. The project itself, I don't know whether another one of these is going to be done in my lifetime in the province. This one's been a long time coming. We've been here quite a while and it's definitely bittersweet. The, the, the innovative way that um, we had to do things and just the unique aspects of the project. The three towers on the penstocks, for example, are unique to this project. They've never been built before and probably never will be again. That's just specific to the application that was needed here. So, I mean, definitely looking forward to having our scope completed successfully, safely, and do our part on this, on this project. And it's something that I think everybody that's been here will look back on and, you know, be able to say, hey, I was a part of that. You're gonna miss, miss being, uh, being this active and innovative in getting it done. You're about uh, 200 out there, really good height. Just uh, keep on that line, looks good. About 25 to the tower, you can start moving right about 20 feet. Okay, hold them there. Back another five. Holding there. Brigham's clear, coming straight up. Up all the time. And you are above the tower now. 